is up the world it is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things on the vanilla server just hanging out at bush gardens it is so bushy and gardeny here i love both the bushness and gardenitude and i hope that you guys are having a good day i'm having a really good day wanted to do something real quick had a patreon sign that i missed and somebody messaged me about it so i wanted to just start the episode off Jordan S., thank you very much for becoming a Patreon. And if anybody else wants to help to support on Patreon, links are in the down there. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. We're back in vanilla. I'm psyched about it. We got a really cool uh, th plan thing space person. Um, no, wait, there's no person. Plan thing space. We're going to do a mushroom farm today. So, let's take a look around at stuff and things. Um, there's a couple of projects that I want to, like, finish up, like this fish farm. I think that this... Like, might be an episode one day where we make this way more fishy. We have the fish farm, but we, it's not really a fishy platform. So we're going to fix that up one day. But, um, yeah, so down here we got this platform. It's totally empty. It's got nothing going on on it. We got this platform. Again, totally empty. Nothing going on on it. And that's a chicken farm. We got to make that more chickeny. But, um, or foodie. I think this will be a food farm eventually. But, yeah, so over here, though, near our double Amaze Balls monuments, I thought maybe on this we would go ahead and set up our, um, our mushroom farm. So let me just put a torch right there, just signifying. That's the torch of mushroom farms. That's what that is. So, yeah, um, we're going <laughs> we're to make a mushroom farm today. And uh, the first thing that we're going to have to do is get some podzel. Now, I checked in my uh, storage area system place, and I don't have any podzel. Um, I couldn't remember if I had found any or not, and I had not. Now, this is actually going to be like a kind of a... It, it's going to be tough. I don't know where there is any. So it's going to be a search for, I think, one of those, the mega taiga biomes that we got to find to get the podzel. Um, and there's a couple different places that I could go out to that are really, really far away. But I think what we're going to do is go out to where the ice farm is. Mm. So if I'm not mistaken, the um, update that created the ice spikes biomes that we get the, um, the, what is it? Hardened ice? Yeah. Um, I think from there is where, what happened over here, man? Holy crap -o. There was like a big explosion. Let's fix this up. Saving the server. That's what we do, man. We're just going to save the server right now because this is just unacceptable. We need a couple more. We'll pull those out right there. We'll fix this block and then we'll fix... Oh, man. We're not going to have enough. All right. One, oh! There's a donkey. There looks like there was some sort of massive creeper explosion in here. I don't know. Anyway, floor fixed. Perfect. So we're going to head out to the ice spikes biome. I'm not going to show you where the secret location is, but... um. Yeah, I'm going to go out there, and then I'm going to look around for some puzzle. I got my Silk Touch shovel right here. Oh, wait. I don't have a Silk Touch shovel. <gasps> We're going to have to get a Silk Touch shovel first. Oh, my gosh. This is going to take way longer than I thought. All right. So, hey, there you are, man. What's up, donkey? Wait, no. Get, uh, what do you got? Oh. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to head back to the ribbon, grab some um, shovels. I'm just going to grab a bunch. And then we're going to head out and enchant a Silk Touch Shovel. Then go out to the Ice Spikes biome. Then look for the Wild Taiga. Oh my gosh, this is turning into such a thing. Uh, but that's cool. We're going to do that. And uh, then I'll BRBs. And we're back. And I got uh, 30 levels. We're going to do this thing. I remembered some lapis on my way out here, thankfully. So let's go ahead and take one, two, three of those. Squirt it in there. It says efficiency. Oh, womp, womp, womp. I was pretty sure that we were going to get it on our first try, man. Um, but it looks like that's not the case. Oh, wait. Did that... What? Did they change? Holy crap, no way. It only took like two levels. Did I just see that right? I didn't know that they had changed that about the enchanting system. So you need a total of 30 levels in order to enchant. But it looked like it only took like three in order to actually put the enchant on. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, I, I might say that's amaze balls. To be honest with you, let's take a look. I didn't know this at all. Unbreaking? <laughs> I love the question mark. Squirt. Yeah, it was like three levels. Oh, man. So this looks like, well, it ain't going to take even near as much time to do the actual enchanting. So that's rad. Um, I don't know if the percentages to get stuff and things have changed as well. But um, I think that... We should be able to get one. I brought enough diamonds. We got tons of diamonds going here. So we could just throw a couple more on. Come on, let's do it. The peeps are watching, man. Efficiency? Ah, oh, wah, wah, wah. All right, we'll make three more shovels. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Bam. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Oh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to enchant more until I get it. Um, I'm not going to have you guys stick around for this part. But yeah, all right. So we're on our way to Silk Touch, man. I'll be our bees. All right. Wait, wait, hold. Maybe not. Let's just check. One more. One more. Fortune? No, I don't want fortune. Wah, wah, wah. So here we are. At the Ice Spikes Plains Biome, Ice Plains Spikes Biome, whatever it's called. And um, actually, it looks like that they changed how hard it is to harvest this stuff, this packed ice. It used to be super hard to harvest. Um, I do have a Haze 2 on right now from the beacon that I have down there. But it used to still take some time to harvest it. Now it's like insta-harvest. Pretty crazy. Pretty cool, man. Um, so I climbed up on top of this one spike that I had left here just to try to look around to see if there was any biomes in the area that I could see. Um, and nope, I'm not seeing anything, so it's not, it's not directly around here. So the portal, um, back is over in this direction. And what I thought I would do just to make stuff and things kind of easier is I brought a ton of ender pearls with me. And, uh, where's the portal at? Right over here. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with the portal? Oh, there it is. So, and I thought we would just go north, you know, just head in a northerly direction um, and hope that we hit one, man. Hit one of these biomes eventually. Um, I don't really have to have this puzzle either. It's not as, like completely essential to making the farm. But um, if in case you didn't know, po uh, mushrooms will grow on puzzle regardless of light level, um, where they just won't on it other materials. So we definitely, it's definitely something that we're gonna want for the farm. So um, yeah, that means that it's just time to do some exploring, man. And so. Um, we're just going to head out here. Hopefully, we can find something. Um, and hopefully, it doesn't take too, too long to find it. Um, this is kind of unexplored territory. I don't really have any idea what I will find. Like, huge... Oh, that's a really interesting... That's really interesting terrain generate there. It's just different looking. Um, so, I really know, I have no idea what I'm going to find. But, yeah, I'm just going to kind of walk around here. Hopefully, pretty soon, we'll find some podzle. I'm trapped. And we're back. And I found it. I can't even believe it. I, uh, there, for, it's so funny for you guys. It was just like I was over there. Now I'm here. No, not the quite the thing that happened. So we are about, let me just put this up for a second just so you can see. It's funny. We're only about 300 blocks away from where the, um, ice plane spikes biome is. Let's go ahead and head over here. We're only about 300 blocks away from that. But I've traveled around 6,000 blocks looking for this place. Because um, what I did was I went out in one direction about... Well, I went out in one direction about 5,000 blocks. And um, like straight north. And then um, turned around and came all the way back. Because I found that there was like a, a big river. Actually, I want to head up to the top. Maybe find a flatter spot somewhere. Um, I found a um, creeper. What up, man? You want some of this? Oh, oh, oh! Serpentine! You're a serpentine, man! Um, so, yeah, went in one direction, like 5,000 blocks. Found an ocean that skirted the uh, the entire coast that I just traveled down. Went ahead and made a couple boats. Traveled all the way back. I figured out, just head all the way back, and then we'll go in, like, a different direction. Like, you know, instead of going north, we'll go east or whatever. So, I came all the way back, and on my way back... Um, I found this it was only about 300 blocks away, and so it's really close. It's actually surprisingly surprising how close it is. Um, and then since we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest the crap out of me, <laughs> out of this podzel. Um, unfortunately, like a champ, I forgot my ender chest, um, or I don't have one. I don't know what happened to it. I almost always carry one with me, but it wasn't here. So, oh wells, don't have it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna fill up my inventory completely with this stuff now. Oh, what's that? What was that? What was that? Corster? I didn't know that was even a thing. So we're going to fill up our inventory completely with Ponzel. We'll make a note of where this bad boy is in case we ever need to come back. But yeah, we definitely got the Ponzel that we need. And, you know, another thing that I want to do in this area with the mushroom farm is we're going to work on the farm, of course. But then I want to church it up. You know, we're going to put a dress on that pig, man. We're going to make it look good. And I think that we're going to use the Ponzel um, all around it. Like to, you know what I mean? Make it look like it's its own little platformy biome type deal so yeah i'm psyched it was 
Yeah, it took me about as long as I thought it would. I was really hoping it wasn't going to be one of those things. Sometimes there'll be often times where I'll be looking for something, especially bomb related, and it's just ridiculous how long it takes. It's like hours and hours and hours of searching. Uh, but this wasn't bad at all, so I'm psyched. All right, so we're going to harvest it up, get a big full inventory of it, head back to the ribbon, and uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I will be our bees. And we're back at the ribbon, and um, I've got a bunch of these dark oak stairs um, laid in all around the outside edge here. And then we're going to put in our podzol just all inside of here. Um, and as we build, like, I might edit it, put some paths in with regular dirt or put some regular grass in. I'm not sure, exactly sure what some things are going to look like. But, um, yeah, we're going to start off by laying this stuff in. Now, you got to be really mindful when I'm doing this of, like, where all the stuff and things are going to go. Because... There's not a lot of room for redstone and that sort of stuff here. Um, so we're going to have to just be really careful about it. Now, I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to have the farm over in this area here um, with some maybe some redstone kind of hidden back in this area somewhere. I mean, it's hard. It's hard when you're doing these platforms the way I have the ribbon set up. Like I said, you just got to be mindful of like where all the stuff and things going to go. Um, so we're going to lay in the puzzle. And then the, the idea for the design that I have for the... Um, for the uh, mushroom farm itself is a little bit different. Um, I haven't ever seen it done the way that I'm going to do it. Um, and it probably, unfortunately, I'll, t I'll talk about it maybe a couple times. I think it's going to end up being kind of the long con. Like, it's going to work, and it's but it's going to probably take a while to get a huge amount of mushrooms. But that's okay. That's not really the point of this isn't to get, like, a massive amount instantly. It's a, The point of it is to just have something where it slowly builds up over time. Um, and, yeah, and I think it's going to work great. I mean, because you don't need a ton. Like, you know, there's not anything really, no crafting recipes that use, like, hundreds and hundreds of mushrooms. So um, not really super important uh, to have it be super fast. I could build a fast one. It would just be like, you know, I could build it in the Hermitone or something like that and just make it, you know, from bedrock to build limit. And then, yeah, it would be instantaneous. So you'd have hundreds. But that's not what we're doing. So um, while I was doing stuff and things and building, I was checking out some of the uh, videos that are out for Tug, watching these videos. And I was over at Nerd Kingdom's site. They're the the devs that are doing that stuff. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, man, that game is really rad. Like, it's getting better and better with every update. They just released a bunch of new stuff and things with Metallurgy. It's basically, if you're not familiar, you haven't watched it on the channel, it's a sandbox game. Um, that looks kind of interesting. It's a, <laughs> it's a sandbox game. Um, you know, it's a voxel sandbox similar to, like, what Minecraft is. The graphics are a little bit better, and they're just in the early alpha development of it. So it's really rad. You should check it out. Um, I'll put a link. Yeah, well, there will be another Tug video out today, so just check your sub feeds for it. Um, all right, so the next stage, just going to make sure we keep everything lit up up here because now we're not on the half slab. So the next stage of this is going to be building the actual thing, the actual thing that we're going to be using um now i'm thinking about it again one of the things i was thinking about i was saying i want to have it over here i got to make sure i might want to build it up a little bit so i got to make sure i'm not quite underneath the stairway there right about here might be pretty good for it so um looks like i got to grab a couple chests just so i have some building materials up here i'm going to need now at this point we need some redstone we're going to need some mushrooms so i'm going to head down here and uh, grab a bunch of that stuff real quick uh, we're going to need dispensers, of which I have 11. Sweet. Um, we're definitely going to need a bunch more redstone than that. So let's go ahead and make this into redstone. Bam! Perfect. That should be plenty. What else do I have in here? I don't really think I'm going to need repair comparators. I'll need some repeaters. Might need some torches. Uh, definitely going to need some hoppers. Um, 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 I think that that might be good. We'll grab a couple levers just to have for turning stuff and things on and off. Um, and then we'll get some chests as well. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Oh, you know what else we're going to need? We're going to need a daylight sensor too. And that's going to be tricksy, man. That's going to be a tricky, tricky thing that we're going to have to do to do the daylight sensor. And we might have to put a little ugly something, something hanging out in order to get this to work. Because um, there really isn't anywhere in the ribbon that gets access to direct sunlight. Or there's very few places that get access to direct sunlight. I never noticed that. There's little the little lighting changes between the platforms. That's interesting. All right. So, all right. Shiny thing. Um, so, like, there are very few places that get direct sunlight. So, right back here would... I think, yeah, because that's the uppermost platform. So we could put a daylight sensor right now. I don't think this will work because that's going to match up with that platform. So we might like hang it off the edge one block or something like that. 
And then over in here, we run into the same thing where that platform's equal to this one. So if we did do a sensor, we'd have to hang it off the edge one block. Um, all right, so I'm going to start playing around. Oh, yeah, I need mushrooms. <laughs> I'm going to start playing around with stuff and things and uh, start kind of designing this in my mind. I, Like I said, I've never really done this before, so I'm not exactly sure how it's going to go. We should have some... Please have some shrooms. All right, we got these guys. Do I have any red? I don't have any red. Oh, yes, thank God. All right, I have to go and find those. All right, we got a bunch of shrooms already over a stack in there. But all right, so I'm going to start playing around with the redstone stuff and things. I'll be our bees. Ah! Man, oh, man. I hope I can get this thing to work. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so here's the idea. Because we have such a small space. The idea is that we have four little spots for our mushrooms, and then we have some growable space all around the outside edge here. Now, the way these mushrooms work is, or as far as the growth goes, it's like real, real slow. I mean, I can't even, I don't know. I don't know if the daylight sensor is going to work for me because I think it's more than 10 minutes that it takes to grow a mushroom. So, um... I don't know if it's more than 20 minutes, though, but that I'll work that out in a second. Let's just look at this for now. We'll worry about the redstone in a minute. So, um, yeah, that's the idea. So then we got four dispensers with some water buckets in them on the outside edges here. And the one of the other ideas I had that's helpful in making it so small is that because the area, if we put a pulse into there, you'll see we'll get our buckets of water. Because the area is so small, it's not going to take items very long to move from the inside edge all the way to there like a second you see so um when we build a, our pulser because what we're gonna have to have happen is we're gonna have to have the redstone like turn on and then run and then turn off and let the grow cycle start again so because of the amount of time that it takes to get an item and we can actually just plant this and see if we went like that one oh man two like two seconds right it took like two seconds for it to get in there. Because of that, that's only going to take like two seconds. Um, the delay will be pretty easy to build. And the pulser that we're going to make to delay it, or the, the delay that we're going to make to give it the second pulse will be pretty quick. The only problem that I have is, I and I didn't... Un I didn't really look this up yet is I have to take a look at how long it takes for the stuff to grow. Now the idea is that we'll do a second level rate huh, like so. Let me get back up here. Huh? So like so we'll have a second level just with a hole in the center. And I don't know if we're going to do a third level or not. Um, but yeah, that's the idea. That Here's our second level uh, right here. And then um, we'll have maybe like I said a third. Um, we'll put some more mushrooms up in this piece. Like so, we'll alternate it from the bottom just for giggles. So the reds are uh, above the browns and the browns are above the reds. Um, and then we'll put some more dispensers and we'll just wire the redstone upward, um, which, sh which should not be that tough to do. Uh, so like so, yeah, we'll just go ahead and squirt these on like this. And I'm thinking just maybe just two levels will be all we need. Um, like I said, it's gonna be really slow. Making it any bigger than that, then once I start building a roof on it and all that, like it's gonna start to like intersect and, and with stuff and things. I don't know. I might try to do a third one, but really what I've got to do now, which is really stinks, because it's gonna take a long time, is I've got to test how long it takes or go read up on how long it takes for these things to grow to make sure that the time that we're allowing it um, is enough. The other thing that's unfortunate about the way that this works is that when a mushroom is on one level and it wants to grow downward, basically well, the way a mushroom growth works is that, or one of the ways part of what the way that it works is that it grows in a three by three. So the air block or the block above, you know, any of these blocks basically like around it like this. And then it would do outside here as well. And then above it and then one below it too. So and then this block here. So um, yeah, it'll grow in that three by three, right? Um, but for it to grow on another level above or below decreases the growth chance by 75% it has a one fourth, uh, chance every time it does like its growth check update or whatever. Um, it has a much lower chance one in four of growing downward. So that really makes it so that it takes a lot longer for this thing to grow. Um, the other thing that you, that you might think, well, then why wouldn't you do something like this slip? Why wouldn't you, um, why wouldn't you put like a block like this? And then a block there, right? And it will just grow through because it grows in the three by three. But it will not. It won't grow if there's a block here. It won't grow past, even though it's the three by three. At least that's what I'm reading. It's telling me that it needs to be an open block. So that wouldn't work for me. Um, yeah, so like I said, next we got to take a look at what the growth time is. 
um, and hope that we can get this thing on the daylight sensor uh, very, very simply. Um, and then also we got to run our redstone upward, which again should not be, I don't think, super tough to do. Um, we should be able to just run it like so and like so. Whoa. And I think this will work for us if we just run it like that. So that turns that on like so. Well, I got to also like block everything off again. I put this glass in temporarily just so you could see inside of there. I don't know if we're going to use that forever. But um, looks like I need some more redstone torches. And I got to sit around and watch this thing work. So, all right. I'm going to check on the time for growth. And I'll BRBs. Stand back, peeps. I'm about to do Minecraft science. Are you ready? All right. So... I decided to take this down into one just a single level. The two level thing was becoming a big pain in the butt because of the way that the water was flowing down in. There was I could not figure a way to get the water stream to come through the center and not muck up the bottom. Like if I was to do a third level, then the second and third levels would be screwed up. So I decided to just go, whatever, let's just try to do it with a single level. So we got our single level right here. Let's, do we even have any mushrooms in this thing yet? None. <laughs> All right, sweet. So I decided to go with this right here. I haven't really let them grow for very long. Um, but then what I needed to have happen is I needed to have a redstone so that when the daylight sensor turned on, which is it, which it is as it is now, that what would happen is on that on sequence, or regardless, either one or the other, but um, on a change in redstone that on the one change, like on the on, it would send a pulse, and then I needed to have that pulse lengthened, so it got one pulse that turns them the dispensers on, and then a second pulse turns them off. But I needed that have that only happen um, when like the change happened two times. So let me, uh, it'll make more sense when I explain it when I show you this watch. So I turn that off, basically nothing happens. That's what I'm saying. I needed this to happen only when the redstone turned on. I think it's like, is, I don't know if that's called rising edge detector. I don't know, I can't remember. So um, only when the redstone turns on, I needed something to happen. So what this device here is, is a quick pulser. There is a redstone torch underneath here. There's a redstone torch right there. There's a couple pieces of redstone here. And that powers the piston. Uh, sticky piston that's got a block of redstone on it. So what will happen when I turn this on, you'll see, is that this piston is going to quick pulse. It's going to retract and come back out. It's going to send a pulse down through here. And then I had to add a repeater with a single piece of delay right here to lengthen the pulse, to make the pulse, this first pulse, so that it was long enough for the dispensers to actually see it, um, to, to, for them to interact with it. Um, so that's why that has one ticket delay. Then there's a repeater here just to lengthen the signal. Um, and then this over here is the delay, so that it's the second pulse. So now what you'll see is if I hit this butt bad boy, bam, first pulse, turns them on, second pulse, turns them off. Is it a, it's a thing, man. Let's run over and check it out. So you can see there's water in there now, second pulse, bam. And it's definitely long enough so that um, any mushrooms that have grown in here will get harvested. So it's good to go. The only problem with this is is that it's massive and like completely massive. <laughs> so there's not much this makes me miss modded so much cuz I just feel like this is so silly. There should be a way like the repeater should just, you know, you should be able to add like 10 seconds of delay or whatever amount of delay you want to it. Um it seems silly that you got to have like 50 of them. Um but yeah, so how to make this all look good is really the question now. Um I'm sure with a little bit of finesse I can make it smaller but not much i mean it really has to have this much in it the only way that i could really i think effectively make this look much much better is to build a subfloor on this level that would allow me to let me see if i can come down here so you can see a little bit better but yeah like underneath here to build the subfloor that would house the redstone um and although that would be ugly if you were looking up when we can make it not super ugly, like we could build it, you know, so that it's like a facade, like you, we could do the entire floor, um, so it wouldn't look terrible. Um, it'll just make the level look a lot thicker. Um, it's definitely, I feel like the better option, um, as opposed to trying to cover this all up somehow, which just is not probably going to happen. Um, I could, I don't know, I could try to house it or make it. I don't know, man. I don't know what I could do. I could do uh, slabs up above like so, 
we could slab this out. Maybe that's an option. I, I really don't, I don't know. I don't want to build that subfloor. I really would rather not. I don't want to make a big fat thing. And this is the hard part about building when you're building like not in a cave. See, like this is going to be exposed no matter what. But yeah, like when you're building in a cave or underground, it's super easy to do this type of stuff, I feel, because you can just hide it in, you know, like back here would just be cave or whatever underground and i could just hide all my redstone in there it would not be no big whoop uh, where this is a little bit different so we could do it this way and put like maybe a couple of trees over here or something like that try to make it a little bit more prettier um and i don't think that that necessarily be a bad a bad way to go um we definitely got to make this look better um and but at the same time there's another part oh my god my jumping skills that i'm a little bit concerned about and that is will this thing even grow mushrooms in the time that it takes for like a minecraft day to go by so really at this point what i've got to do is i've got an afk here for like a while um cover this bad boy up uh, shouldn't matter the puzzle should still grow um, and I did also left air blocks in here I don't know I was thinking about covering this up like so but I don't know if um I don't know if the mechanic of the spawning of the shrooms sees the air block in a different way than a solid block um, and if that would affect it I, I really don't know so just to for giggles I just left it open left it as an air block um, so yeah, I guess really what we need to do now is cover this guy up. Go ahead, check in there. We haven't got anything. Now, wait, there's no, like, per okay, just double check. There's no, like, permanent redstone that's shutting down those hoppers. So if we were to come back in just to double check before we start our test, and we look inside. Oh, I covered that bo bad boy up, too. So, like, for instance, let's go ahead and see if, um, that slab made it in. We should be able to, we should see the slab made it in yeah okay so i just covered up the covered over the hopper just because um i don't know i was a little paranoid about the light levels in here so that makes it a little bit darker um i i don't think like i had said that or everything i'm reading saying is that it shouldn't matter but um you never know with minecraft so yeah time to afk man we're just gonna sit here and see if we can get some growth um i'm actually gonna go ahead and pillar up somewhere be for safety's sake um, or actually, you know, I don't even have to pull it up. I could just build this little ghetto room. Like, we're like, huh? Oh, I don't have enough? Fine. No, no, it's cool. Fine. I didn't want to build a little room. I wanted to pillar her up. Um, so we're going to pillar her up just to make sure you don't get keeled by anything. Uh, sit here for, I don't know, a while and uh, see what happens. And we're back. And I let it run for a couple of days. Or, I don't know, it was like an hour and a half or something like that. Just the AFK and a little AFK hut over here. Let's go ahead and see what we got. One. One mushroom. <laughs> it works! <laughs> so, it totally works, but um, it's badly designed. <laughs> so, it's not working that great. Um, I would say if there were like four in there, I would have been happy. But I really do feel like there's so many things just not going for this. There's not enough uh, area. There's not enough mushrooms. I probably want to have about three times as many at least. I would say if not double. Um, and it really needs to be multiple tiers. So it's just a design idea. And instead of, you know, a lot of times I think people go in creative mode. They make sure they have a design that's working like before they're going to do a video or something like that. I just love it. You know, you know how I am, guys. I like experimenting, having fun, playing the game for what it is. And, and just, you know, that's what I like. So it didn't quite work exactly like we planned, but it did work. And uh, it was fun to do it, man. We got to do some redstone. We got to do some stuff with things. We got to do some adventuring, find some puzzle. And uh, it was a good day. And I am HO. I am HO. Good day, peeps. So if you guys like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Show your support for Hermitcraft Vanilla. Feel free to share and favor the video as you see fit. Don't spam it on Reddit, peeps. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm going to jump. I'm going to do it. <laughs>